Hey everybody, my name is Epi Montoya and I'm cutting this video for you right now. Very excited about a lot of things that we got going on here, so I just want to kind of express, you know, some of the transformations that are going on in my life that have happened, you know, over the last two and a half years. Um, they've just been really, really, really amazing. Um, first of all, I got to tell you that, that I am here today standing in front of you at 32 years old and, and I've learned more in this last few days, you know, this last week, this last couple months, than I've learned my whole life. And uh, to me, that's very, very heavy stuff because, you know, nothing in my life has ever really intrigued me as much as business-minded, entrepreneurship, you know, stuff the way, you know, this personal development. You know, and what I love about this industry is that most personal development, everything comes right out of the Bible. You know, and I, I can't tell you how much that I really, really appreciate that fact, you know what I mean, that everything that we're getting from all these different places and all these major gurus and, and all these great philosophers and mentors and just all these wonderful people, you know, and, and how everything has come straight directly out of the Bible, you know, and, and, and like, it, to me, it's just absolutely amazing, you know what I mean, because so many people like to shy away from that stuff, and I don't understand why, you know, then they have uh, this strange feeling of why things are not going their way in life, you know, I mean, why are they can't seem to get ahead, why they can't seem, you know, and, and most of the time, none of that stuff even matters, what matters most is that you know God, you know, and you allow Him, and you're begging Him to come into your heart, you know what I mean, to accept Him, you know what I mean, to, to work with you and through you, and it's not necessarily of what, what kind of blessing, you know, we got to learn to be thankful for right now, it's not going to come to you a minute later or a minute before than what it's supposed to come, and it's right there, seeing the a lot of you may not even be understanding what's going on right now, but I'll tell you what, a lot of you out there do. A lot of you out there are like-minded. You know, a lot of you out there are searching, not searching for your soul, searching for, for anything that you can, you know, find to help you, guide you, because we don't really even know where we are, you know, and some people think that they got everything so figured out, and those are the people that are the furthest out there in left field. So I just want to explain a few things to you right now that um that I've kind of been going through myself and I want you to know that I, I really I videotape all these videos from the top of my head. A lot of them are for me and my own personal development, the growth that I'm having, so I can kind of measure where I'm at and where I need to push these bars up at. And a lot of it, I hope that the some of the content in these videos um, you're able to use. Um, so I'm just gonna go into this. Okay, first of all. There's going to be a time where everybody looks back at the stuff that we've done, you know, and like what happened in the early stages of all this development and, and to be part of something so phenomenal, so magical, things that are just inspiring and motivating, you know, the things that we're doing as 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 a group together, the army that we're forming, not only internationally, I mean, of course internationally, but not only nationally, but internationally, you know, worldwide, the liberation tour, you know, freeing people all around the world. I mean, some of the things that we are doing here are just amazing, and it just makes me so proud to be part of something so dynamic, you know, the, the, the things that we're doing in other countries for the unfortunate, you know, the less fortunate, I should say. And, um, you know, when they go back and they look at some of that stuff, a lot of people are going to wonder, how, how come I couldn't have found something like that in the beginning stages? You know, and the thing is, is it slapped you right in your face a few times and you just ignored it. You know, you were too, your ego was too built up, you know what I mean? You have to check that sucker at the door, you know, and that, that's just some really key stuff. Uh, on top of that, you know, we have to learn how to overcome objections, overcome our own obstacles, you know. I keep getting stuck at this damn place called discipline. You're some, you're talking to somebody right now that never had a, a, a rule or a law in his life that ever meant anything. I've always done anything I've ever wanted. There were no rules, no boundaries. I just thought, whatever, I thought I had everything fixed out. If you gave me a rule, I would just snap that sucker right in half break it. And, and I don't know why, but that's just the way I was taught and that's the way I've always been. Okay, so so to coming into this and having to learn discipline, having to learn like a certain way of doing things. And I find that, that even a lot of our older generation, they're so old school, they like to do things the way they want to do them. The way they, I'm going to do this my way. And a lot of times that just doesn't work. You know, we got to become students. we got to become a sponge. I'm very, very proud to say at this point right now that I love to read. You know, it hasn't always been that way. I've never really found things that intrigue me in that way. But, you know, today... I'm proud to say that I love to read books. I love reading these books that my mentors have passed on to me, and I want to thank all y'all for that. 
And the last and final piece that I'm going to leave you with right now is something called, you know, setting those goals and setting, uh, you know, working towards them, making sure that they're in front of your face. And this is something that I'm struggling with a lot, you know what I'm saying? But I've also seen the benefits of it, and I've also had the aha moments on how this type of stuff really helps. And I've done little exercises to help me get to my short-term goals, and they really, really help. But I was listening to one of my mentors the other day, and, and uh, you know, she was talking, and I just, I, I've already heard this a hundred times, and I, I want to bring this in too. You know, there's something about hearing the stuff that we're listening to, but hearing it repetitively, repetitively, and repetitively, over and over and over and over and over again, I promise you, the hundred times you listen to it, it says something totally different that you just didn't get the first hundred times. You know, all of a sudden, these words that you're hearing become your words, and, and just some of the most amazing thing happens when you get to that point, but you got to do this over and repetitively thinking that's the mother of all learning, you know, it's just repetitiveness. So, with that said, you know, I was listening to one of my mentors the other day, and she started talking about how, you know, how one of my other mentors just inspired her so much. And a lot of you know who I'm talking about, but I'm just going to go ahead and say this because, you know, this is YouTube, this is the Internet, and I'm, I'm not here to just put people on blast and stuff like that, but she said they inspired her so much that she went right up to them and she asked them, what do I got to do? Tell me what I got to do. What is it that I got to do? And they looked at her and they said, what are your numbers? She said, I'm emotionally so sick right now that I don't even know. I haven't even looked. I haven't even gone back there. And you know what? I find myself in that place sometimes where I'm just, you know, running and trying to figure things out and helping. And you know what? All of us are in the same boat. You know, some people are lying to themselves. And that's probably one of the worst things that you can ever, ever, ever do. I'm just an average person with, you know problems and things, you know, I look at every situation as a blessing, those problems are just because God wants me to learn it and, and learn that valuable lesson behind it, and I just look at things so optimistic, but when they said this, they said, you know what, you need to, cannot do that, you cannot do that, you need to get those numbers out, you got to look at them every single day, you got to look at those numbers, and you got to write them down, whether they go up or whether they go down, you need to write them down, and you got to know a date and a plan of when you're going to hit them, see, this is the goal and the plan set date to achieve them. And this is the kind of stuff that you just got to get. I'm telling you, without this stuff, it's it's wishful thinking. It may happen, but it just, may, you know, if you get lucky at something, you might just get unlucky and get it undone. And for those of you that are okay with that, that's fine, but that's just not me. That's why I'm telling you, some of the things that we're learning, we're learning them from a point to where, see, uh, uh, this is just going to be phenomenal. This is just going to be a tipping point. You know what I'm saying? Once that sucker gets going, you're not going to be able to stop it. I look at one of my mentors who hit top rank in our company in 10 months. Yeah, that's very inspiring. You know what I'm saying? It's more inspiring when, you know, someone that had such a rough, 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 rough time, you know, here's a mom that's been abused, you know, by her husband, can't get out because she got no job, no skills, no nothing, and you go in there and you help. You know, that might not happen in 10 months, but, I mean, the way that will transform her whole life is just worth it. Whether it's t 10 months or 10 years, it don't matter. It's worth it. And what I'm trying to say with this is, like, once that tipping point happens, um... You know, we're going to have those same stories, you know, hitting certain levels like that in 10 months, you know, over and over and over again. And, and that kind of stuff right there, I'm telling you, everybody that is out there trying to figure something out, it, it's not something that you're doing wrong necessarily unless you're doing nothing at all. Because I'll tell you, the best way to learn is to go out there and stub your toe a little bit. Go out there and mess it up a little bit. Learn from your mistakes. Learn how to master something. Tweak it just a little bit. Get better in a little another area. You know what I mean? And just keep doing things over and over and over again. Make sure you're training. Make sure you're staying on the call. Make sure you're staying around this stuff. Stay around the campfire. All right? Anyways, my name's Epi Montoya. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. I hope y'all appreciated it. I hope y'all got something from it. I hope it's not too long because I really want to throw this one live. Um, you can hit me here on my Facebook. You can hit me on my inbox. You can hit me anywhere you want to hit me at. Um, let's get this stuff together. I look forward to working with some of y'all. Much love. Peace out. Epi. Peace.